uh, how you get all these close losses in the last minute. I mean, how how much is losing this way, taking out of the you know, team spirit at this point? How, how difficult is it to you know, keep kind of losing in the last minute? I mean, it's, it's kind of disappointing. Um, this is definitely not what we set out to do, but um, we just got to find a way, and we will. So um, I'm just going to stay positive and try and spread that energy with my teammates, amongst my teammates. What changed in your game today, considering you only had one foul compared to five last game? Pardon? What would you do differently tonight than you did uh, against Albany on Saturday? You got five um, fouls that game. And then one I just, tonight. I just stay solid. Um, try to be more conscious about how I'm playing defense. Obviously, I have to adjust, so I made an adjustment. Um, play honest, play solid, and um, don't try and gamble for anything. Ty, what um, what do you guys need to do to think to get over the hump? Because you're you're right there with everybody, and yet. You're coming up a short. Yeah, like you said, we're right there. Um, it's honestly just the little things. Uh, free throws, taking care of the ball, um, late game situations. Um, it's just little things that we can control. That's the good part about it. If it was things that we couldn't control, then you know, it would be a problem. But it's just little things that we can control. Uh, so I think we'll be fine. And then on, on the uh, last play there, where you, you, you came up short on the three, what was supposed to happen on, on that play? And just a, you had a force because the shot clock was winding down? Uh, yeah, I, we wanted to get quasi the ball. He, he was the one that had it going tonight. Um, the play was honestly for him, but uh, like you said, uh, execution is big uh, late in games, and uh, that's one thing we definitely have to do better is execute. What sparked that big run in the first half? I think it's just getting stops. Uh, we feed off uh, getting stops, and uh, when we get stops, you can run, you know, get some transition points. Uh, Dream got a dunk. And uh, that gets the crowd into it, that gets us into it. So uh, the more stops we get, the better. And how did you guys, do you think the run kind of woke you guys up from that slow start too, definitely? Yeah, yeah. Um, coming out the first couple uh, minutes, uh, we were, you know, just not into it. Um, they scored a lot. And they're, uh, credit to them, they're a great offensive team. But, um, you know, once we started getting stop, stops, we settled in and, uh, you know, scored. What do you guys think you did so well, I guess, defending them from the three-point line, considering the best team in the the league in the uh, conference now, he made five tonight. Um, really, um, their point guard, Mora, makes them go. So uh, the scout report of him was uh, make him a finisher. And uh, credit to him, he finished uh, a couple big ones late. But uh, that was our plan to, uh, you know, let him beat us instead of uh, giving up the three ball. I think you, you had a big run uh, runner points there at the end of the end of the first half. Again, did, were you looking to kind of, you know, lead the team back at that point? Uh, like I always say, I'm just in there to do whatever I can to help my team <coughs> advance and uh, um, win. So, yeah, um, they were looking for me. I was making shots, so credit to my teammates. Well, I feel like uh, this is deja vu, you know, Groundhog Day, you know, all over again. And, um, you know, I thought for the, for the most part, for 32 minutes, I thought we really competed and battled. You know, the first eight minutes, you know, they got off to, I think, a 14, 15 point lead on us, 15 points. And, um, you know, that was a big swing to the game. But, you know, once we settled down, we, we battled back into it. You know, gave up a big three at the uh, end of the first half. But, you know, I, I like what we were doing. We came out with great energy in the second half, uh, even though we turned it over the first two possessions. And, um, you know, we gave ourselves a chance to, you know, compete and, and win the game at the end. You know, we didn't uh, quite execute very well. And um, that was the ball game. You, you know this group better better than I do. When you're having, you know, four this four game losing streak by 16 points combined, and you got the seven last minute losses. Uh, is this going to sap their spirit, or they're the type that are resilient? Well, they're they're a resilient bunch, but you know, at some point, you know, it can't be the same things over and over. You know, the missed free throws, the turnovers, you know, the, the lack of execution, and you know, when you do those things positively, you win the games. And you know, we have not been able to do that. You know, like you said, um, you know, the last four games. And, you know, in this league, I mean, it's it's a very, uh, you know, there's not a lot of separation. And, you know, one, one uh, you know, bad play, two, one missed box out, one missed free throw, you know, could cost you the game. And that's that's what's happened. You guys went on that big run in the first half, and I think a lot of it had to do with the fact of the zone. And you guys played it effectively. Uh, obviously, you guys brought you back in the game. 
Um, what made you decide to switch out of it instead of keep going with this? You guys were doing so. Yeah, so you know we came out and they were kind of doing what they wanted to in the first you know couple wars, and so we we went to our pressing zone out of necessity, and I thought that got us back in the game, and, and you know, we were able to get some turnovers and runouts, and you know the start of the second half thought about doing that, but wanted to come out and be aggressive and, and get some energy. So we went man to man, and I thought you know we, we we guarded them pretty well. You know they made some tough shots at the end. You know Lyles has done that all year long. You know Mora, you know you got a, a senior laden backcourt. You know a lot of experience. They hit some big shots, and um, you know give them credit. Well, how important did you, did you feel to um, that, it, that it is to get a top four seed in a home game and also? With what's happened, do you feel it's slipping away, or there's time? No, there's still time. Yeah. You know, and you know, at some point there won't be. But we have seven games left, and um, you know, four of those at home, three in the road. But you got to protect your home court, which we haven't done the last two games. And you know, we can't talk about a top four seed. We got to talk about you know getting a win. And you know, it's it's you know the, the next game is the most important game of the year. You know, for 40 minutes we got to come out and compete, find a way to. You know, do the little things, and, and uh, you know, once once you get a win, you, know, you hopefully you can build on that, and then at the end of the day, you're in a position to you know host it, and you know it's it's huge to host it because I don't think anyone who's been in the championship game or won it, you know, has been on the road, you know, since the inception of this uh, format.